welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this makeup look. I recently went to a concert and I was on Snapchat and I actually had, I had quite a lot of you ask me about my makeup look from the concert that I went to. And this is just a simple, easy, go to look for me if ever in doubt I'm going somewhere or if ever in doubt I don't want it to be too much but I really want to feel like I'm wearing makeup this is the look that I go for it's super easy it's really pretty and really girly and I really don't feel like it's too much it doesn't have a wing liner it's very simple eyeshadows like we really only use one palette for it so many of you guys asked me what this makeup look was what lipstick I was wearing what eyeshadow I was wearing I thought I would create a video dedicated solely to this look so if you want to learn how to create this easy go-to makeup look of mine just please keep on watching starting off I'm going to take the shape tape in fair from Tarte Cosmetics using my damp morphe blending sponge I'm just going to start to blend that all in and start to shape around the brow just for a really nice base to set that I'm going to be using the banana shade in my Kat Von D palette which is the middle one in that section. I really like this one to set my eyelids with. I feel like it just helps blend out the eyeshadows so seamlessly and so easily. So then once that is done I'm going to take the first shade MFEO from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take my fluffy brush and blend that just above the crease. I'm going to start using that as my transition shade. I'm going to use that really really lightly on top and just really really buff that in to that above brow bone. Then with the second shade Pukey, I'm going to go into the crease with a little bit more of a denser sort of brush. This is going to deepen up the crease area a lot more. I really love this shade to use as a normal transition shade. I feel like it just blends out so well, especially when you are wanting to do warmer tones and then just going in with nothing else that's left on that brush back in with the MFEO just to sort of blend those two shades together. Then with the third shade I'm going to take the shade Buns with a pencil brush just in that outer V area. I'm going to start lightly tapping it as you can see right here. This way it really sort of gets that color in quite deep and then just working its way in using that first transition shade again with the brush it doesn't really have anything on it and just going in back and forth between those two colors just so that we can blend out those two shades without any lines or any harsh lines should I say um, again on the left hand side I'm just starting to tap those shades in and then lightly twisting using the shade pukey just to blend those two shades together just to create a deeper crease line there also. Then with the fourth shade, I am going to go in with more of a flat brush with the color Central Park from the same palette. I am using the tapping motions again. Using that first shade Buns, it's a really good way to create that deeper area and then being able to go over the top with a darker shade just so that you have a little bit more control of the color. Again with ME, sorry, MFEO, I'm going to just really blend those shades in together. So with a flat brush on the lid, I'm going to take the shade Beam. This is kind of like a matte to shimmer eye shadow. It kind of looks a little bit matte on the eyelid, but it just really brightens it up, especially because we are going a little bit deeper on the outer part of the eye. Then with the eyeliner brush just on the lash line, I'm going to take the shade Abyss and just really just pretty much just to deepen up that eyelash line there. So when we do our eyelashes, I can take that and blend it in a lot nicer. So then again, just taking the shade Central Park and blending that out. Now I'm just taking my Neutrogena makeup wipes and just cleaning up the under eye area and the outer part of the eye just so that it is nice and clean and all the fallout has been removed. So when I go in with my foundation, I can blend that in nicely. So just taking CoverGirl So Lashing in black and just coating my lashes. 
I am going to apply my cream lashes that my mum picked me up in Hawaii. I'll link down below what number they are. I can't think of what they are. So today I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in the shade 320G. And this is the Trace Lash. I'm actually doing a first impressions on this foundation. So if the video is up beforehand, um, it will be out soon. And if not, I will link it down below so you can check that out also. So once that is blended in with a flat kabuki brush, I really like to do that with this foundation because it was quite thick. I'm going to apply the Rimmel Wake Me Up in the 010 Ivory and taking the same Morphe blender and just buffing that into the skin. I really like this one because it's not too thick and it is a brightening concealer and especially too because... I do suffer from dark circles under my eyes. I feel like it just makes me look a lot more awake. Again, taking the banana shade from the Kat Von D palette and just setting all of that in and then also using my Kat Von D powder in the shade 53. Then to start to contour, I'm going to take my Kat Von D palette in the shade and light palette in the middle dark shade and just start to carve out those cheekbones. I really like this for like a nice matte sort of contoured look and then just around my forehead to shorten that up a little bit. So then with blush I'm taking my new favourite which is the MAC blush in the shade Melba. It's so pretty and then just to highlight my cheekbones down my nose and above my cubist bow I'm taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the colour Opal. Now my lower lash line, I am just taking the colour Central Park and just running that along the lower lash line. Then once I am done with that, I am going to take the shade Pukey just to buff that out and just soften up those dark edges also. Then for the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm going to take the shade and light. These are all the same colours from the same palette. And I'm just going to kind of buff those in together. Then taking the mascara in so lashy again and just running it along i like this one for the end of this brush as you can see this is the jordana lip liner in the color tawny i really like it for a nude lip liner it always seems to go with everything and it's literally like two dollars but today i'm going to be using my huda beauty matte lip liquid lipstick in the color crush i am literally obsessed with this shade it looks a little bit light when you're applying it at first but once it dries down it goes a little bit darker and it is honest to god the prettiest nude color i think i've used in such a long time so i'm really such a fan of that then once i have done that i am going to set my face with the urban decay quick fix hydra charged to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys asked and i listened and so i wanted to film this for you this is such a simple easy go-to makeup look i really am excited to see you guys recreate this look also it doesn't necessarily have to be used with the same palette you can use any different palettes by using similar shades i understand for us guys who live in australia it is very hard for us to buy from morphe or just any brands in general over there it is very expensive for us so i'm going to link down below some eyeshadow palettes that are really similar so that if you are here in australia and you are wanting to pick up a eyeshadow palette that is very similar to the jacqueline hill one i am going to list a few down below so you can pick yours up and try and create this makeup but as always if you did enjoy this quick little toot please give it a massive thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my online family please make sure you do our online family is growing every single day and it makes me so excited and i'm so grateful for every single one of you who jump on and watch my videos all my socials are down below if you want to come past and say hello to me over there but until next time i will see you all in my next video see you bye